Today is day 2 of inpatient, September 22, 2018, Saturday. This, this is now the... How many years old? 10 years old, female spade. Hmm. Came in actually, when was it? 3 weeks ago, right? Yes. 3 weeks ago, with the complaint of not eating. And actually the tongue was very pale at the time. Eh? So I suspect thick fever. And uh, blood test shows very low red cell count and hemoglobin and platelet at that time, eh? 3 weeks ago. And uh, the test kit shows anaplasma positive. But baby say was negative at that time, 3 weeks ago. So I give the dog imidox injection. And uh, although the anime didn't, didn't clear so fast, the owner said the dog was okay eating. I did ask the owner to come back again to uh, have a second injection of any dogs, which is recommended uh, for, for such cases. But the owner didn't come back. Then uh, yesterday, the owner came back to, to tell us that the dog was vomiting frequently at least three days in a row or, or for the last six days and as you can see it's not very obvious now but uh, the sclera was yellowish yesterday before treatment now let's see the sclera it's not so obvious now but the blood test shows liver disorder and uh, Anemia. Now the gums are not uh, obviously jaundiced, but the blood test will show that uh, there was jaundice. Now you see here the, the, the come. Let's see the blood test. The blood test results. You can see the liver enzymes are really high. Uh, four four three for ALT and uh, two five eight for AST. So that uh, confirms John this. Yesterday the skin was yellowish. Not, not very yellow, but it was yellowish. And, it's, and the sclera was slightly yellow. Now we look at the kidney. Uh, urea is 3.4. And uh, let's see this one. Creatinine is normal. So there was no kidney problem. Now the interesting thing is the hematology. Hematology shows anemia, low hemoglobin, low red cell count, and thrombocytopenia, low platelets. At the same time, there is a leukocytosis, total red cell count went up, neutrophil percentage went up, normally 60 to 70 percent, and here the absolute number also went up, normally is maximum is 11, is 29.3. So overall, this dog has a bacterial infection plus tick fever. Now, tick fever is confirmed by testing the, the kit which we, we showed yesterday, the other video. The test kit shows uh, anaplasma, antibodies positive, plus Babesia canis pos positive. But uh, the owner has taken back the test kit, so I'm not able to show the test kit. But it's, it's there in the other video. So this is the day two. Is the dog eating? Dog is not eating. Is it? Is it vomiting? It's still vomiting. Yeah. So vomiting actually due to to the hepatitis. Yeah. So you can stop the vomiting by injection, but but uh, it's, it's the cause is due to that. So you still have to give drips and the nutrients and antibiotics. Okay, finish.